As you've hopefully heard by now, uh, we're going to be launching a new kind of old discipleship ministry uh, at Ivan Rest Church this fall called Table Groups. Now, I've talked about this a little bit before, but one of the first things that we're going to be doing with our table group structure at Ivan Rest is doing kind of a three-year exploration of the spiritual disciplines using a spiritual discipline-focused curriculum called Practicing the Way. Now you might ask, why are we choosing to, to focus so much and for so long on the spiritual disciplines? Well, first we're going to be taking some breaks between uh, the different sections uh, or modules of Practicing the Way. We're going to start with Sabbath this fall. Uh, then we're going to move to fasting and then prayer and slowly but surely uh, our way through the spiritual disciplines over the next couple of years. Each one of those sections uh, focusing on the spiritual disciplines is four weeks long and then we'll have gaps in between them. So that's part of why it will take three years uh, because we're going to be having some breaks in between our different uh, times of focusing on the spiritual disciplines. The bigger reason though why we wanted to do this uh, is because of what we see happening in our culture. Now I don't know about you but the world feels kind of weird to me these days, uh, at least as a Christian. And uh, it feels like things are changing quite rapidly, like, like people don't believe uh, the same things that maybe they used to. And if it feels that way to you too, that's because that kind of is what's happening. You see, for about 1300 years in Western culture, we were what was called a Christianized culture. That basically means that the church was one of the main authorities uh, in the Western world. Most people were Christians and believed the same sorts of things that, that you and I do as Christian believers today. Uh, the Bible was a main source of authority as well. People held a, a Christian uh, worldview. They believed Christian ethical and, and moral beliefs, and those things governed their lives. And that's kind of what the reality was for about 1,300 years in Western civilization. All the way from when the Emperor Constantine converted to the Christian faith in the early 300s uh, until about the 16 or 1700s when the Enlightenment really started to gain steam in, in Europe. Then, slowly but surely, Christian influence and authority started to wane in our culture. The way I like to say it is that the tide began to wash out on Christian authority and influence in Western civilization. And we started to become what cultural commentators now call a post-Christian culture, meaning that people are post-Christian belief. Uh, they've sort of moved on past it, they're, they're after it, and they're on to something else instead. That's why this world kind of feels strange or different for us who still hold a Christian faith. Because it is different from how it used to be, and it's different from what we believe. And so, in order to continue to be Christians in a culture like this, uh, my sense, and the sense of many others, is that we need to go deep. No longer can the church be a mile wide and an inch deep when it comes to our faith. Instead, we need to start growing deeper and deeper as Christian believers, so that we really know what we hold to, what we believe. I'm filming this video actually in front of a tree in the backyard of our house. Now this tree is huge, and as you can tell, uh, it's rather thick, it's been growing for a long time, it's also really tall. This tree was what I, I was told by the, the people who used to own our house. This tree was planted when our house was built in 1968, and so it's been growing ever since. But it hasn't just been growing up, it's also been growing down. It's got an extensive root system that grows deeper and deeper to hold it up so that it can continue to grow upwards. And that's what we believe we need as Christian believers today. We need to go deep so that we can continue to remain strong and healthy in our faith. And one of the primary ways that we see uh, we can do that in the church today is one of the same things that the Christian believers for 2,000 years have seen uh, as important to growing in their faith. And again, that's using the spiritual disciplines. And so that's part of why we're going to be focusing on the disciplines for the next few years in our table groups. Things like Sabbath and silence and solitude and all the rest so that we can go deep 
and continue to live as strong, healthy believers in Jesus Christ going forward.